Hey guys, Wally. Um, I'm going to do a triple hop, dual grain uh, experiment beer review right now. And that's going to be this one. If you guys don't uh, recognize uh, the tape, it is um, Larry My 22, Larry Lentz. So this is his. Um, I just briefly went through the um, spreadsheet and um, just kind of uh, looked at everything. Um, I, I was going to go through and write some stuff down about the um, particular hops. He used Dr. Rudy for uh, bittering, uh, Matueka for uh, flavor, and Vic Secret for um, dry hop. But then I said to hell with it. Um, just not going to do it. I'm going to go ahead and just uh, just um, go at it, and um, I'm going to tell you what I get with I, with what I get right now. And, I'm not going to have any kind of preconceived notion of what it's going to be. No uh, power pipe by suggestion. Um, I've had Big Secret and I've had Dr. Rudy before. Um, in um, I, th I believe that was the uh, Puka NC um, hop experiment days. That's been a few years ago. So anyway, this is, this is uh, Lermo 22s. And I'm going to go ahead and crack it open. And there's a hiss. Oh, it smells good. I smell it right out of the bottle. Ooh, I just made a mess. Sorry. And he did not use... He did not use Crystal 30. He used... Um, Kara 30. Well, it's just the same, really. Crystal, Kara, I think they're, all they are is just basically a name by the monster differentiate difference in brands but you look at Larry's and his beer is a very different color um, it's brown pretty brown so Kara 30 which maybe that is different than crystal I don't know but anyway it's a lot darker um, maybe it's the um, maybe it's the uh, kettle caramelization the Millard effect, right? Um, yeah, it's not quite brown, but it's right now I'm looking at my phone, which is what I'm recording in, and the um, the color that you're seeing, that I'm seeing in my phone, is a lot lighter than what I'm seeing here. This is very, very dark um, when I look at it. it smells smells like a barley wine. Um, yeah, it smells like a big barley wine. It's got a lot of dark fruit, plum, raisin. Now I wish I would have done some research. Ah, big secret. But it's definitely got a lot, a lot of really dark fruits in it. Tastes like molasses. Um, yeah, it's got that kind of licorice, the black licorice uh, taste to it. Black licorice, just huge black licorice. Um, this is crazy. Um, yeah, the nose smells, it's, I'm trying to think of, um, uh, like, not narwhal, but, um, uh, what is that? Ah, uh, just a big, huge, what is the, uh, oh, crap, Sierra Nevada, um, Sierra Nevada barley wine. I, it's one of my favorites, but I can't, for the life of me, can't think of it. But man, it smells good.
this is so weird but it just tastes why well, do I, I have to see Larry doesn't have any things for his starting gravity in, in um yeah, terminal gravity in here but man this is this is not a double IPA it's bitter um, but it's not like scrape your tongue but it's just a real real heavy bittering kind of right in the back of your throat uh, this is uh, this would be like the dad of arrogant bastard it's that, just that assertive and that just in your face. This is good. This is, uh, man, I don't know if I'd sit down and drink too many at one time, but yeah, smells, smells like dark fruits and tastes like molasses. It's a very slight, slight bit of like caramel and toffee in the background in the taste but yeah if somebody would have said hey this has got molasses in it I would have been said well duh you can taste it but man this is good double IPA I'm going to say no but this is uh, but there's always there's always that thin line between like a big double IPA in a barley wine. I think this is right where like Arrogant Bastard is. You know, Arrogant Bastard, I wouldn't call it a barley wine, but it's it's right there where it's just this huge hops, huge malts. It's got all this flavor to it. And this one, I would say it's pretty, it's right there. It's just got a huge amount of flavor to it, but it's not, it's not what I would say would be double IPA-ish, but it's, it's really good beer. Definitely good for uh, for um, this fall weather that we're having here in, in Southern Ohio. But yeah, plum, all that stuff on the nose. Yeah, it's really good. Um, Larry, that's <laughs> I can't tell I like the beer. No, it's really good. It's it's spectacular. I, I'm really digging this beer. It's not a double IPA, in my opinion, but <laughs> it's fucking delicious alright guys um, see you on the next review cheers